Welcome to my new office. I, I now permanently live in Brazil. I've left England and um, this is my, my office that has been open for a couple of weeks now or so. I'm actually a technical assistant. I repair electronic musical instruments, guitar effects, pedals, bass amps, uh, valve, transistors, keyboards, mixers, both analog and digital, effects pedals. There's a big bass amp there. So yeah, this is my new office. Now, I treated myself the other day. I bought a CD player from here and they seem to have a, a few CD204s here. The CD204 is really a, an elongated uh, CD104, which I've already got. I imported that into Brazil and it's my uh, treasured possession and it's been modified um, in that I've uh, put my own design of, um, of sort of uh, clock, um, re-clock, overclocker in there and I've taken that out the oversampling and it sounds fantastic. This one I bought faulty over here and it was 400 reais so it wasn't that cheap, completely faulty. Uh, there's no sound, it wasn't even switching on and then I, I managed to resolve that switch on problem um, and then after that it wasn't reading any CDs at all I resolved that so it was reading them but with skipping but there was no sound so I resolved that as well by a modification here to the muting relay this is a temporary mod because um, it makes a nasty thump when you switch it on and off I've got to try and get to the bottom of that later why it's causing that problem this CD player obviously is fantastic I mean they wipe the floor with anything you can buy now especially when they're modified with uh, oversampling taken off and overclocked now this you're looking at here is the fantastic CDM1 assembly this is the best um, CD mechanism ever made is solid metal cast metal this is the the motor with the flywheel and uh, this has got a rotary arm here for reading the CD and it's very very low on friction unlike the modern plastic rubbish they put in all modern CD players even expensive ones have got terrible mechanisms uh, that don't last long. These are virtually indestructible in the right hands. I just wanted to show you this, since I'm no longer in the UK, give a few tips to people on servicing. This one had very, very bad skipping and all over the place, which is common on these. Now, a lot of people tend to go for this pot here, and that pot is the laser intensity. Now, I'm going to warn you, you have to be very careful adjusting this because if you adjust it too much, to increase the intensity on these models, you turn it anti-clockwise. That increases the intensity. If you increase the intensity of the diode too much, you can actually, of the laser, shall I say, it is a diode, you can burn it out and then that's it, game over for, you have to buy a new unit. So I wouldn't uh, recommend you messing with this at all if it's skipping. The main reasons why it may be skipping is either the, the top thrust bearing, which I'll demonstrate later, or the turntable height. The turntable which the CD sits on needs to be precisely placed in order for the laser to focus on the CD. And if this turntable height is not correct, it won't focus properly and will skip all over the place, skip tracks. And in the worst case scenario, which it was in this, it won't read the CD at all. Now this here is actually a, a torque screw, but on the other side is uh, like a, a bearing, a flat bearing. And that bearing wears out in time. So this needs to be adjusted periodically when you get any skipping. So this is the first thing to go for if you get skipping. Now obviously what you need is a, torque screwdriver like this and this is 
Let's see if I can see what it is. It, ah, it's all rubbed off the writing. It's a T10. This is a Weira T10 Torx driver. TX10. So just um, shove it in here and turn it minusculely. If it's not reading at all, you can turn it by, I don't know, if you see the pointer there, let it move by uh, one millimeter. Nothing improved. Turn it again, one millimeter. Turn in an anti-clockwise direction at first. And if that doesn't work, turn it the other way. What you can do is get a, a pencil and mark between, a pencil or a pen, fine pen, and mark between here and here. So you can see the original position of the screw. So you turn it first anti-clockwise, and if that doesn't work, turn it clockwise. And that should sort all your problems out with skipping and non-reading of CDs. This is a trick of the trade. This video is not available anywhere else on YouTube. I'm giving you all my secrets. Now, another thing that adjusts the focus is one of these trimmers here, but don't mess with these trimmers at all. If um, you can get the CD to read, um, but it's skipping a little bit, then you can adjust this in an anti-clockwise position, but move it minusculely, because uh, obviously if you wind it right up, you're gonna destroy the laser and destroy your CDM1, and these CDM ones are not cheap. And they're really, really, really good. They're just fantastic quality. And looking at the back of this CD204, you see the transformer, you see the power supply board, and this here is the decoder board. Sorry, I think this is a servo board actually. Servo board on the bottom. On the um, CD104, the servo board's at the top, but I think this is a servo on the bottom. I could be wrong. I need to check the top, but turn it over gently. Now this is the decoder board on top. I can see there's the footprints there for the two um, two DACs, the twin DACs, TD1540s. Uh, this is the mod that I made from one relay to another to get it to work, although it does stump when you switch it on. Uh, tray loading um, uh, driver. This drives this motor here, which opens and closes this heavy metal tray. I have Scritti Politi and focus on a CDR here. If you're gonna use CDRs with these, use um, only by uh, Taiyo Yudan, which is a Japanese CD. They are the uh, first manufacturers of the CD. They're very, very, very good. There we have the tracks there. I'm not sure whether this is fully adjusted. I brought this into work to adjust it. Still needs adjusting a little bit. I can hear it warbling and burbling a bit there. Let's just um, see this again as well. Make sure it's well seated. But often, I mean, this is taking a little while to start up, so therefore the focus is not great. Um, as you work on these more and more, you can hear the, the pitch. Uh, it's found the CD, but that took too long, so I think I probably need to adjust this. I didn't quite put it on the mark that I put there. Let's have a look. I can't see the mark on the rotor very well. Let's just move it very slightly one way. I mean, literally, extremely slightly. Let's just see if this plays. You see? Okay, let's just take it out, see how fast it 
loads up now. It's taking too long really, I could probably fine tune that a bit. Let's see. Yeah, it does need fine tuning, that skipped a tiny bit there, but we are talking about um, a CDR, we're not talking about proper CDs, but it's much, much better than it was. Yeah, it's skipping it. I need to adjust that a bit more, but you know, you can spend like um, a good 15, 20 minutes adjusting it, very finely adjusting it by fractions of a millimetre to get it spot on. But uh, generally, um, this should help. The bearing I was talking about earlier is here. There's a little ball bearing under this and uh, sometimes that ball bearing gets worn and you need to replace it. And that can cause skipping as well. That's the second uh, cause of skipping. I've had that a few times on these. So there we go. I uh, can't think of any, any other tips I can give you on this. That is the main one with it when these skip or don't read at all. And uh, that torque screw at the back of the motor for the turntable height is the number one culprit. Uh, number two culprit may be the laser intensity, but as I say, adjusted very, very, very slightly. And number three for skipping is this as well. So I hope this has been a helpful video to people, um, engineers, CD engineers who repair these for a living are going to be quite annoyed that I'm giving out the secrets here. But anyway, um, hope you have a good time repairing and looking after your fantastic um, Generation 1 Philips CD player. This also applies to the... Um, Bang & Olufsen CDX, which is a first generation um, CD as well. And it also applies to the uh, Mission DAD 7000, which is also first generation. And of course, uh, some of the other more boutique ones that I can't remember, MC, MCD. Um, some of the other boutique ones, I can't remember the make off the top of my head. That's uh, being 59 years old as I just have turned your memory goes a bit to pot really but um, anyway hope you enjoyed the video thanks a lot for watching